stop buying stuff first that you don't need before you would buy a more premium or branded item maybe it's time to go for the more generic or the cheaper items still it's nice to sacrifice it's nice to simplify your lifestyle but you also need to complement it by getting additional income find ways on how you can earn massive amounts of income Hey guys, so in this video, I want to talk about what are you supposed to do right now that inflation in the Philippines is relatively in the higher end of the spectrum. So please do note that we have 5.4% as of May 2022. And it's not just that it's happening in the Philippines. This is something that's happening also globally that in the US inflation is at 8.6%. You have even in Turkey at 73.5%, Argentina 60.7%. Russia at 17.1%, Brazil at 11.73%, the United Kingdom at 9.1%, Netherlands at 8.8%, Spain at 8.7%, Germany at 7.9%, Canada at 7.7%, Mexico at 7.65%, India at 7.04%, Italy at 6.8%, South Africa at 6.5%, Singapore at 5.6%, South Korea at 5.4%, France at 5.2%, and Australia at 5.1%. So this is something that's not just happening in the Philippines because there's a lot of factors that have shifted and changed over the past few months we have oil prices hitting all-time highs we have the effect also of the Russia and Ukraine war we still have a logistics slash supply chain problem that started during COVID if you've been following me over the past few months or even years I would say this over and over we can't control how inflation rates would go these are things in the macro but we can't control our own personal financial economy so in this video I want to share what are you supposed to do when inflation is higher because at the end of the day if you take control of your own personal financial economy no matter what's happening in the broader sense of course we all get hit we all get affected but it doesn't mean that you can't do something right here right now in order for you to be able to help you that it's time that we take control of our own financial destiny that it's time that we take control of what we do with our finances inflation similar also to the GDP moves in cycles there was a portion also a few years ago when the train law was enacted when inflation also started to push up then right after that because the base was also higher inflation started to somehow slow down and a few years later different reason different scenario inflation is up again it's cyclical it's what we do it's how we react in times like this that will determine how we will also be for the short mid and long term to make it super simple and for those who are watching this that don't know how inflation would impact your finances it just basically means that the cost for you to be able to purchase different items is relatively higher 1000 pesos can do when you go into a grocery 10 years ago could buy you more stuff versus what 1000 pesos can buy you today so what you can buy today is lesser because the value of your money gets diminished how do you weather this time how do you not just survive but also thrive stop buying stuff for that you don't need so try to avoid those unnecessary expenses the things that you don't need and, and please do know this note the goal of this is for you to be able to shore up cash so that you're flexible so that you have enough also so that if times get even worse you have enough firepower to protect you. you have enough cash stored also so that whatever happens you have the ability to have enough wiggle room either to have opportunities to invest or so that you don't get affected financially so try to trim down your lifestyle first try to make it as simple as possible things that you don't need to do and if you foresee that maybe your business or your job or your freelance or your side hustle may be affected so try to trim down your lifestyle remove the things that you don't actually need or to make it super simple when you go to the grocery before you would buy a more premium or branded item maybe it's time to go for the more generic or the cheaper items still if you're looking at corned beefs if you're looking at sardines if you're looking at tuna maybe it's time to go for the cheaper alternative same with soap the same with alcohol the same with milk the same with every other thing that you're possibly getting so try to remove the things that you don't actually need try to simplify it yet and again it's not about trying to deprive you it's about trying to be disciplined for this particular season especially if you feel that you were not able to prepare very very well you don't have a very very good savings account yet you don't have a large emergency fund yet the name of the game is for you to trim down your lifestyle 
the name of the game is for you to be nimble so that should times get bad, you have the flexibility in order for you to be able to do well. It's very, very important to write a budget, but it's very, very important to segregate it. What are your needs and what are your wants? In this season, during high inflation, try to minimize expenses on wants, especially because you feel costs are rising, you won't be able to save much and you really want to prioritize saving, try to remove those wants first. Try to not buy that stuff. That may also mean that if you normally buy coffee outside and you believe that you are in a season where you need to prioritize your savings, maybe it's time to sacrifice those things. Or maybe if you like taking massages or if you like going to the spa. Since we're starting to reopen, you like going to restaurants again and watching movies once again. Maybe it's time to trim those down so that you weather the storm. I'm not saying that this will be forever. I'm just saying in this season of your life that inflation is high, that you also want to have more savings or you want to have more wiggle room. And all of these things, these are not the fun stuff. People always want to log in and watch my channel for investing. How do you make investments that will work for you for the long term? But to get to the point where you have money for investing, you need to have savings. And if you don't have savings or you are not in a position where you have disposable income, you need to make sacrifices. How you sacrifice today will determine how much financial freedom you will have also in the future. Because I'll say this over and over, at one point in your life, you will have to sacrifice. Better sacrifice now while you're younger because you have the ability, you have the flexibility to be able to do it. So it doesn't mean that inflation is high that you get hit there. It doesn't mean that inflation is high, that you will get affected, that you should also suffer or you should be fearful. There are things that you could do right here, right now to help protect you. There are things that you can do with the money that you have and how you actually deploy it. People always stress about how do you earn money because if you earn a large amount of money, that's what will protect you. That's a good scenario, that's a good equation, but essentially, it's how faithful and how disciplined you are with what you have right now that will enable you, that will protect you, that will make your money grow over the long term. So that's what I highly suggest to all of you right now. How do you protect yourself in a high inflation environment? Minimize your lifestyle, trim down the things that you don't actually need, remove the expenses that are not as important, stick to the bare minimum so that you can actually save more and use those savings to protect you, to give you a buffer. There are predictions of recessions globally but in those recessions, in those times that things are uncertain, there will be opportunities to invest. And if you have that cash that's ready, that's stored, that you purposely and intentionally set aside for opportunities like this, then you would be able to take advantage and buy when things are actually over. To put this to a close, it's nice to sacrifice, it's nice to simplify your lifestyle, but you also need to complement it by getting additional income. Find ways on how you can earn massive amounts of income right now. Find ways that you can actually use your spare time so that if you're actually earning more, even if inflation is higher, then you could get to buy the ones that you have. Even if inflation is higher, but you're actually earning more also because you're spending more time in order for you to generate more income, then it would compensate for prices being higher. Then it would allow you also to buy your needs, your wants. It would allow you also to save and invest also more and more and more and more. Go on defense, simplify your lifestyle, pay for your needs first. You don't have to buy the branded stuff first, but in the same way, find sources of income, find extra ways on how you can build the test egg right here, right now. So you should not be scared about inflation because this is something that will happen over and over, but you just have to be resilient and find ways on how you can focus to make your personal economy better instead of worrying about what's happening in the macro economy. Because at the end of the day, no one will take care of your finances more than you. If you don't think about it or take care about it now, you can't expect someone else to take care of it in the future. So if you want more videos like this, we have a lot in the description below. And in the next video, I'm gonna talk about also what are you supposed to do? The dollar is higher right now. How do you circumvent it? What are you supposed to do? What are the methodologies on how you can come out of this on top? And if you want to know more about investing and invest in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, we have links below on how you could actually invest. Join us also. We have an Investment 101 Masterclass. It's recorded. You can watch it anytime, anywhere. Links are in the description below. For those who want to read as well, we have books that are available in Shopee. It's the basics of the stock market, investment 101, technical analysis, and everything that you want to know about 
growing your wealth over the long term. It's not get rich quick, it's about get rich right. It's about loving the process of how you can actually build wealth over the long term. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put it down below and I'll try my best to make videos on top of the questions that you've made as well. So this is Marvin Kermo. I hope this video helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. See you all again soon and God bless you all.